boys and girls. This is Warsaw Library Storytimes once again in the summer and we have today our guest reader and her name is Mrs. Linnell. She is a music teacher in the community. Let's welcome her. Thank you. Imagine the moon is our title today and grown-ups if you're here in the room with your child as I read the first book, you could gather a few items to help your child participate. Um, we're going to use a drum at one point. You can get a bowl, a pan, um, anything and something to pound it with. We're going to use a scarf. You could look in your closet or even a dish towel. And we're going to use some sticks. So wooden spoons work or even just any kind of spoons would work. If you don't have these items, it's okay. I'll show you what to do with your hands if you don't have the instruments. Never play music right next to the zoo. Written by John Lithgow and illustrated by Lisa Hernandez. I went to a concert when I was a lad no older than many of you. I sat with my sister, my mother, my dad, at a band shell right next to the zoo. The soft summer air was so balmy and sweet, and the program was running so long that I found myself falling asleep in my seat despite all the music and song. All at once, the conductor erupted with rage. A band of wild animals was storming the stage. Oh, children, remember, whatever you may do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. The lions and the elephants the bears and the raccoons will steal away the trumpets, the flutes, and bassoons. They'll replace the musicians and chase them away. Then they'll sit in the band shell and play. The monkeys played fiddle. The bison played the bass. The percussions were manned by the camel. The yak played the sax until red in the face a surprisingly musical mammal. The bonobo played oboe, the bear at the flute, the jackal attacked the bassoon, the hippo had chosen the tuba to toot by the light of the silvery moon. Siberian tigers, Mongolian goats, a superabundance of bestial notes. As the animal orchestra filled up the air with chaos, confusion, and clatter, the audience calmly continued to stare as if nothing at all was the matter. I trembled with terror, suppressing a scream, while my parents just sat there enraptured. Oh, how I wished it was only a dream and those creatures all safely recaptured. But since, by the minute, I'd grown less afraid, I decided to sit back and watch while they played. instrument down, then bowed and descended the stage. Each shed his tuxedo or evening gown and hurried back home to his cage. Then each reminisced so grateful and glad, so full of contentment and pride. My mother, meanwhile, strolled away with my dad, but my sister remained by my side. She tugged on my sweater and spoke in my ear. You better wake up for we're leaving you here. Oh, children, remember, whatever you may do, never play music right next to the zoo. 
They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. No, never play music right next to the zoo and pay strict attention to rule number two. Bear it in mind for the rest of your days. Don't fall asleep when an orchestra plays. Let's pretend like we are animals. If you've gathered a scarf, get it out. If not, you can just dance with me. We're gonna move to the music, a little night music by Mozart. And you can pretend like you're one of those animals that escaped their cages and are dancing and playing their instruments. ready to listen. Teaser and Fire Cat. Written and illustrated by Cat Stevens. Thump! The noise made Teaser jump. Fallen Moon was stuck in the roof of an old deserted barn. Teaser climbed up and pushing as hard as he could, tried to move it. Leaping lunacy, it's rolling! The moon rolled fast. It rolled past the tall pines and onto the Purple River. Quick, this stick will do the trick, said Teaser, leaning over the bridge. Screw The clumsy fire cat slipped and fell flat onto the moon. And he slowly floated away toward the dangerous water's end. What luck, it's stuck. Give me your paw and I'll pull you up. Oops, Teaser had spoken too soon. The moon went drifting deep into the night. Floating over valleys and hills until it came down on a prickle red tree. Then out came five red owls. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And Teaser told them what had happened. Shh. 
So the owls picked up the moon with their beaks and they flung it far into the starry sky. Teaser and Firecat said, Goodbye. Goodbye, Teaser. Goodbye, Firecat. Goodbye, Moon. Climb aboard the spaceship with me. We're going to the moon. Hurry and get ready. We're going to blast off soon. Put on your helmet. Buckle up tight, because here comes the countdown. So count with all your might. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Oh, let's do that again. Can you help me? Climb aboard the spaceship. We're going to the moon. Hurry and get ready. We'll blast off soon. Put on your helmet. Buckle up real tight, cause here comes the countdown. So count with all your might. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! I wonder what you see when you got to the moon. Well, there are stories that there's a man on the moon. And I have a song that is about that, and his name is Aiken Drum. If you've got some sticks, rhythm sticks, or some spoons to tap together, you can get them out for this song. There was a man lived on the moon, and his name was Aiken Drum. If you don't have sticks, just clap. There was a man lived in the moon, lived in the moon, lived in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon, his name was Aiken Drum, and he played a take some time after this you can make up more verses all you need to think of is something you wear and something you eat hmm oh here's an example his undies were made of spaghetti of spaghetti of spaghetti his undies were made of spaghetti and his name was Aiken Drum. Oh, that was fun. Well, we're at
at the moon. Let's put away our sticks and I will read you one more story. Mole Music, written and illustrated by David McPhail. Mole lived all alone underground. He spent his days digging tunnels. At night, he ate his supper in front of the TV and then went to bed. Mole liked his life, but lately had begun to feel like there was something missing. One night on the television, a man played the violin. It was so beautiful. That mole thought he'd like to have a violin too. I want to make beautiful music, he said. So the next day, he sent away for a violin of his own. Every day, Mole checked his mailbox. <sighs> no violin. No violin. No violin. <laughs> but finally, after nearly three weeks, it arrived. Mole was so excited. He picked up the violin and drew the bow across the strings. But instead of beautiful music, all he made was a horrible screeching sound. <sighs> Mole tried again. The violin still screeched, but not quite so horribly. Mole kept at it. After about a week, he could play one note Bum. And then two. Bum, bum. And after about a month, he could play an entire scale. Bum, 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 bum. Mole continued to practice. He learned to put the notes together in a simple song. Bum, 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 bum. Years went by. Mole got better and better. He was happier than he'd ever been. During the day as he dug tunnels, he hummed the music he would play at night. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now Mole played even better than the man he'd seen on TV so long ago. Sometimes he wondered what it would be like to play his music for people out under the silvery moon. He imagined himself playing before a huge audience. He imagined himself playing for presidents and queens. He even imagined that his music could reach into people's hearts and melt away their anger and their sadness. Why, maybe his music could even change the world. at himself. <laughs> huh. hmm. Oh, how sad, silly I am, he thought, imagining that my music could do all that when no one has ever even heard it. Mole played one more song. Then he put down his violin and went to sleep. 
and he dreamed beautiful, peaceful dreams. I've got one more song for you. And this is the one, if you have a drum, a box, anything will do. You're going to put your drum or your box or your bowl on your floor, just like that. Now, if you have a mallet, you can play it with your hand, but if you have a spoon or something to hit it with, you can hold on to that. This song is called Sally Goes Round the Sun. You can watch me the first time and then you can do it with me. Sally walks round the sun. Sally walks round the moon. Sally walks round the chimney tops every afternoon. Walking, walking, walking. Stop! One, two, three. You might have to help them if they want to rush in. Let's count to three. Are you ready? One, two, three. March this last time. You guys ready? Here we go. Sally marched round the moon. Sun. Sally marched round the moon. Sally marched round the chimney tops every afternoon. Marching, 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 marching. Stop.